Okay, probably many of you uh, are very experienced surgeons and uh, you start uh, asking why should I come, why, uh, what a biomet representative could tell me about DVR. Многие из вас, ну, не многие, все из вас опытные врачи-хирурги, и, конечно, у вас возникает вопрос, зачем же, зачем же нам радость, зачем, для чего нужно приезд, презентация. But as you probably expect, I'm not here to sell one product. I'm mainly here to convince you that that's the best option that you can have. Он здесь не для того, чтобы продать этот продукт DVR, а он для того, чтобы убедить вас, что это является лучшим продуктом, лучшим решением на данный момент. Okay, in the same time, maybe to tell you something about the instruments that make your life easier. Одновременно он хочет рассказать немного об инструментах, о некоторых особенностях, чтобы облегчить нашу работу. Okay. Or about what instruments an orthopedic doctor has as a backup. You know what is a backup? Yes, I know. Об инструментах, которые каждый травматолог ортопед имеет в заначке своей. And when you start asking in during OR for this screw, what hammer should I use? Uh, sorry. When when you start asking in the surgery room, yes. what hammer should I use for this screw? Uh, It's a joke. Первый вопрос, который задает себе ортопед операционный, это для чего молоток нужен? Каким молотком забивать этот дверь? Okay, or whom sh whom to shut if something is not okay? He is the guy. So. For, what, for what reason the gun? Yes, that's the gun for not for the patient, not for the for surgeon. The, for the nurse? Uh, uh, only the, if you hate her, yes. <laughs> or yeah, mainly for this guy, okay? <laughs> Good. So, shortly about what we will discuss today. We'll skip anatomy and terminology because you all know about everything. Пропустим, да, общая терминология, анатомия. But we also will we'll mainly talk about the design of of DVR and what has this plate so special and how you can take advantage of them. Мы сфокусируемся на дизайне самой конструкции и на особенностях и преимуществах этой конструкции. And after this, we'll uh, have uh, three of our guests talking about fractures, implants, surgery technique. I will only be here to ask questions if something occurs. Good. What are the indications of a DVR? Mainly, every wrist fracture that cannot be uh, solved in a conservative way. Показания. В основном показания это любые переломы, которые не могут быть пролечены консервативно. But also. We can talk about contraindications, counter which, which are the infections, obviously, any sepsis situation or the poor bone quality. Okay, what do you expect from, from a distal volar uh, plate system? Let's call it in this case, DVR. So we, we want, as surgeons, I forgot to tell you, I have a medical background until recently. I've been in, in the university hospital in Bucharest as surgeon. It's a long story why I'm not over there anymore. So, DVR, 
we expect to restore the anatomy of, of the bone as, to as normal as possible. Так, значит, что мы хотим от DVR? Это восстановить анатомию кости. To stabilize and maintain the reduction for long term until the bone is healing. Стабилизировать, значит, стабилизировать и репонировать отломки. And also to provide support <coughs> in order to have the joint, uh, the joint surface to as normal as possible. In the same time, we want to improve the quality of life for the patient. Have a, a, a good range of motion after the surgery. Good. And to uh, provide uh, sufficient portfolio to match to all the patients, all type of fractures, without uh, having a, a huge inventory. Okay, when we talk about restoring the, the anatomy as, to as normal as possible, we are talking about all the angles and axes that are uh, to take charge in the, in the distal volar uh, approach. Значит, когда мы говорим о восстановлении анатомии, мы в основном имеем в виду восстановление кривизны и кривизны сустава, анатомии сустава. So that's, this is the goal, this is the, what every, every surgeon wants to achieve after surgery. We will not insist on, on the numbers, but you all know them. Uh, we, I will only mention why is that important to have the anatomy to as normal as possible and mainly the, the joint surface of the radius. I have to learn Russian. Because if it is not well properly done, 91% of the fractures will evolve to arthritis. And then the patient is not happy. Okay, so then the patient is not happy because of pain. And if the patient is not happy, the surgeon is not happy. Okay, so in the end, it's also a problem of ego. Of Dr. Sig. Okay, then. So let's see how DVR is going to match to all these necessities that we, we have in the OR. Давайте посмотрим, как как же DVR удовлетворяет наши вот потребности в операционной во время операции. Okay, I will mention four main features. Я остановлюсь на четырех самых главных особенностях. The fourth one, the fifth one is the material, which is not mentioned here because it's something that everybody knows, is Timex. Пятая особенность, здесь не указал, это особенность материала, из которого сделана пластина, называется Timex. What is Tim Timex? Timex is a special, special, uh, specially manufactured titanium. Это специально произведенный титан. Yes, which improves the quality. It makes it better than all the other titanium alloys. Uh, 
обычный сплав титана. Окей. Okay. Let's take all this one by one. First, anatomic design. Давайте расскажу по порядку. Anatomic design. DVR was meant, was meant to be for the Volor approach and it has been the first on the market, first plate on the market designed for this. DVR is the first plate on the market that is specially constructed for the Volor approach. Okay, Volor approach, every orthopedic surgeon knows that here is the largest space between the bone and the rest of the tendons. Все травматологи ортопеды знают, что именно с валярного доступа наибольшее пространство со стороны, да, с ладонной стороны. Okay, this is a, also an image that shows us. Сухожилиями. And um, now going back to DVR, it's anatomically designed also with this buttress technology. What means buttress besides all the other features that uh, differentiate DVR by the rest of the locking plates in the market. So the main, the main goal for this technology is that the, the plate to support the bone in the position, in the correct position. Until the bone heals. And, and divide the forces. Spread. <coughs> Allowing the, the bone to stay in a better position. Okay. We, we can see this model of supporting in the nature. This is uh, how the roots are for the tall, the tall trees with a lot of forces, bending forces. And also there are some other architects that have been inspired by, by this model. You can recognize here. Вот еще одна идея, значит, эта технология, это вот колонны. Is the inside of Sagrada Familia in Barcelona. Is a church. Is a church in Barcelona where they used this new technology. You can see is the same buttress, uh, buttress technology. And they created a new kind of Gothic arch. They call Catalan arch, but is this technology? technology Good. Anatomic design of uh, DVR. On a lateral view, it is. It has the same angle for the volar tilt. Uh, Yes, of 25 degrees. It has, with, the, with its screws and pegs from the axial view, you will see later on. Perfectly match for the radius uh, epiphysis. Anatomically shaped, so the end of the plate is shaped by the curve of the joint. And this is how the buttress technology works in the DVR. 
So, as you will see later on, I think we have uh, samples here and two patients waiting there for, uh, with a wrist fracture to practice. There are two rows of pegs on the distal, on the distal end. Okay, and the proximal uh, row is supporting subchondral, you see? Okay, so we have proximal row supporting the subchondral joint surface. Restoring the, the curve the normal curve yes of the of the of the joint the distal row is on a different angle you see you can see he's in in the x-ray how it goes under the joint surface and the distal row sorry sorry about that the distal row will come to another angle supporting the middle of the epiphysis. Another main feature of DVR is the possibility to use the K wires, Kirchner wire. Yeah? So you will see, so if you don't know yet, but you will see in the plate there are some small holes, holes between the screws. If you pay attention, between the holes for the screws, there are more small holes for the For this purpose, here you can put a K wire. Uh, and and uh, with an X-ray, you will see the, the K wire will show you the direction of the peg. Uh, and, and in the same time, we will keep the plate in place after you done the, the reduction. И в то же самое время эти же спицы, они временно фиксируют пластину на месте, если вы удовлетворены результатом. Here is the, the image on the fluoroscope. Ran, okay, X-ray. So you saw this is the K-wire that goes in the, the same direction with the peg. So you will know if you, you will be satisfied with the fixation. Да, здесь вот на данном на данных снимках вы видите, что спица вот в дистальной части лучше okay. направлена. And the distal как мы хотим установить винты, ну пеги гладкие винты. And the distal one is for put the plate in the same uh, keep the plate in the same position. Distal one. The distal one has the the role. Proximal. proximal, sorry. The proximal one is has the the role to to keep the plate in a fixed position. Proximalna spica для того, чтобы удерживать пластину в определенном месте. The way the, the pegs are arranged are also an important feature is what I told you is anatomically shaped for the, the radius epiphysis. Значит, Еще хочу подчеркнуть, что винты э, э, значит, имеют направление, которое направление, которое позволяет э, обеспечить субхандральную поддержку тала. And the second row is on a, the, the distal row is on a different angle, so it will it will support the the middle of the bone of the epiphysis but in the same time will provide stability of the plate okay if they were parallel then the, the plate would have the possibility to to be pulled out 
есть, если бы два ряда винтов были параллельны друг другу, то они, пластина бы легко отошла от кости. Okay, but being in an angle, it is impossible to take the plate out of the bone. Here is a, an example on the saw bone, how the, the pegs are placed immediately under the surface. Это пример на пластиковых костях, как винты проходят с обратной стороны, как они выглядят, кончики этих винтов. Okay, so if the plate is placed correctly at the shed, watershed line, as Dr. Sergey will probably will mention later on. Если пластина установлена корректно, то... Then for sure the, the pegs will come into this position. То... Винты будут выглядеть вот так вот с обратной стороны. Good. What else DVR has that is very important and it makes your life easy in the surgery room? Что еще интересного в DVR, что облегчило бы работу врача? And you will find this only at DVR. Nobody else has this. Это и это особенность только DVR. Is this guides because you, as you know DVR is a locked plate. Это направители предустановлены направители. The guides are single use, so не одноразовые. Besides, they have the the purpose to protect the thread of the Они of the plate. Они защищают uh, резьбу в отверстии <coughs> в отверстии в пластине. Once you go with the drills through the through, through the guide, when you take out the drill, it will come out and leave the leave it leave the place for the screw. It will come out. And you can directly place the screw. So that means that it is not necessary to come with another drill, with another um, protective guide. You know, you know the нет, story. Нет, нет, not move, not... Yeah, because there are so many situations when, when the surgeon is doing the reduction and the fixation and then tells to his assistant, don't move. Да, очень часто происходит при многоскольчатых переломах когда врач зафиксировал пластину в нужном положении и говорит всем операционно всем замерить. Но с фастгайдами, вот с, 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 с этими направителями, to help him with the, with the screws. А, этого не нужно делать. Окей? Окей. So they are color coded. Uh, да, они имеют также цветовую кодировку. They are green and, and uh, red. Зеленые и красные. So you will never mix up or the nurse will never mix up the left with the right. Да, вы не перепутаете левую с правой. There is something else which was not mentioned, but this is like uh, the, the cherry on the top of the cake. Это, ну, здесь есть еще кое-что интересное. Это вишенка. Это вишенка. Is this special threaded peg? Это специальный винт, which is made by cobalt chrome. Сделанный из кобальт хрома. Yes, and it has can be in uh, thread in in a variable angle. Может быть установлен под разными углами. Good, and this is very useful to keep and bring the radial steloid in place. Это очень важная особенность, позволяет нам подтянуть, зафиксировать шеловидный отросток. Because as you know, probably the radial steloid is the most rebel part of the bone in a fracture, in a wrist fracture. Вы, наверное, знаете, что шеловидный отросток, перелом шеловидного отростка okay. является часто проблемой. It always tries to, to run away. Да, отросток всегда пытается отойти и убежать. This is to, to bring it back in the, in the position. That's the portfolio of DVR. So there are many options. You can match all 
all the wrist fractures that uh, need uh, surgery and plating, starting with the, the simple one, the anatomical one, which is for right and for left. Obviously, they are, that's why they, they are anatomically. Also, narrow heads, long, wide heads for all the bone anatomies. И также делятся по ширине головки, то есть узкие, стандартной ширины и широкая головка. Good. Now, before leaving our uh, guests to, to have their presentation, Dr. Sergeyev, Dr. Velikov and Dr. Kos... Перед тем, как мы перейдем к следующим докладам. Dr. Sergeyev, Velikov and Kostikov. Kost Sorry about that. Uh, just few tips and tricks about the technique. <coughs> it will make your life easier. <coughs> Most of the times start with distal. Uh, sorry? Most of the times start with the distal. <coughs> yes. Хирург должен начинать именно с дистального. Distal, yes, distal fixation. Or in 90% of the cases you will use these sizes of the pegs. So don't go for other sizes. В процентах случаев длина винтов для дистального ряда от 16 до 18 мм. Okay, use the long, the long part, uh, the oval part of, uh, of the, the oval uh, hole from the shaft of the plate. In the middle of the plate. Okay, for moving up and down or proximal or and distal and to match it on the watershed line. Okay, sometimes you can use the pegs and the K-wires as a lever to do the reduction. Uh, you know what is lever? So if this is the plate, Put the first peg in, and then when the plate comes on the bone, it will reduct the, the head of the radius. And now I will invite our uh, guests. If there are any questions, please do not hesitate. <coughs> Maybe later on. Now I will invite uh, our guest. I don't know. Yes. Please. This is something that I, I haven't put in the presentation here because it's, um, it's common. I mean, it, all the surgeons are doing this way. Он, да, информацию про блокирующие винты в диафис он вставлял в эту презентацию. Not all the times the locking screws are useful, besides they are not so, uh, so cheap, they are more expensive. Ну, не всегда, значит, блокирование служится, <coughs> ну, тем более, что они дороже блокирования. So the most important part of, uh, of the surgery and the DVR is to support, to, to have a buttress effect on the distal part, so at the, at the tilt, radial tilt. So it's, it's not necessary to use all the holes and all the, the locking uh, screws. 
И самая главная функция девятка. Спасибо. Можно еще А, еще? Ну да. Почему вы Windows It's a very good question. I mean, it's a very good one. Uh, because Cobalt Chrome is um, stronger than, than Titanium. And it can create a new thread in the, in the plate. And that's why you can put it in any direction you want. Он блокируется за счет создания новой резьбы или за счет геометрии головки, вот как в остальные вии угла, ну, вии винта? Yes, it is, Dr. Germer, okay, so, it is, it is fixed uh, by the thread of the peg. As a normal, as a normal locking, yes, it creates a new thread in the, in the plate. Новую резьбу в пластине и за счет этого фиксируется. I will show it to you immediately, just a moment. It is another presentation. It is not on that presentation, but I think it can be seen from here. So it's a stronger, stronger metal than titanium, okay? It has, it has here the thread like a locket screw. And because of, because of this, It creates, when you put it in a different angle, it creates a new thread in the plate, Когда and then it's locked over there. Okay.